So the example I showed before had just a benzene ring, right? Just benzene. What if you put groups on the benzene ring? How do groups on the benzene ring affect how it reacts? We well, actually know this already because you know how to do resonance, right? This group, this oxygen attached to the benzene ring, so things attached to the benzene ring that have lone pairs, they can donate electrons into the benzene ring. If you donate electrons into the benzene ring, what's that gonna do to it as a nucleophile? Is it gonna make it more electron rich or less electron rich? It's gonna make it more electron rich, right? A better nucleophile. If you have a group that takes away electrons from the ring, is that gonna make the ring more nucleophilic or less? Less. So we call these groups, this is called an activator. This is called a deactivator, right? One group push, puts electrons into the ring, makes the ring more reactive, more, a better nucleophile. One group takes away electrons from the ring, makes it less reactive, it deactivates it, makes it a worse nucleophile. Okay, well there's more to the story, because when you start drawing resonance structures, it'll also start to tell you where on the benzene ring things will actually add. So let's talk about three positions ortho, meta, and para, right? This oxygen, this position's ortho to it, this position's meta to it, this position's para to it. So it's a way to talk about where things are at on the benzene ring in relation to each other. This can donate electrons. So let's take a second, let's draw some resonance structures. So if I push electrons into the ring, And I balance my charge, of course. At that ortho position, right? Either side is ortho. There's, elect there's a negative charge there, right? What does that tell you about this as a nucleophile? That means this position, if I number these carbons, the ortho position are one, two, three. That means C1 is electron rich. That's where things will add, right? So activators, they say they direct, they direct electrophiles ortho. Electrophiles will add ortho, right? So if I put this with that same thing as I had before, right? Where is this group gonna add? It's gonna add here, right? We can have this react there. Do you see that? If I keep going, which I can, now where's there a negative charge at? At the para position, or C3. So they also direct para. So if you have an electron donating group on the ring, it's an activator. Electrophiles will add where? To the ortho or para positions with activators. So that's activators. And at some level, talking about deactivators is kind of silly because what do deactivators do? They actually make it less reactive. So in theory, deactivators just don't react, right? But if they were forced to react, Let's play this out. Let's say they were forced to react. Let's draw some resonance structures for this one. Of course, since this is a deactivator is pulling electrons out of the ring, let's draw electrons going towards it. Instead of into the ring, we're taking electrons out of the ring, right? Because it's electron drawing. So what does that resonance form look like? looks like this. So now at the ortho position we have a plus charge. Our plus is it is that very that, is that very nucleophilic? Well no. Right? That's actually really bad. It's just the opposite of this, right? Because in the in the electrophilic aromatic substitution, what's your nucleophile? Your benzene ring. Your benzene ring, right? So this is making it less reactive 
and a deactivator will never have things go ortho or para because you can do the next one. Posters there. Right? The deactivator is just the opposite of the activator. Instead of having a negative charge, which makes it more reactive, it has thing has electrons go ortho or para. A deactivator has a plus charge, ortho and para. So that means things will never add there. And if they do add at all, if they ever add, where are they gonna go? They direct meta. Not because it's good, because it's the least worst option. All right, so deactivators are bad. They don't make things more reactive. But if they have to react, they're gonna put things meta at this position. Because these other ortho and para are not very reactive at all. 